So we have this putting system, and that's where the motor would normally go, but it's broken. It, when you when the ball goes in, um, it stopped, you know, kicking out its little iron rod, which you can see there. That's what normally would push the ball out. And this is the magnet that would push the metal the metal piece. And I was wondering why it wasn't working anymore. So I took it apart and broke, broke it, basically. Um, and I saw that here, this is the part that triggers it to start. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's really corroded. Like, it doesn't look like it's going to conduct very well. Um, so I would, if I had to guess for the point of failure, I would guess it's there. I'm guessing that maybe there's, the electricity isn't going through there. And then I also noticed that um, they seem to have like the full, um, you know, this is like a cable cord that you would plug into the wall. So they seem to have the full, what is that, 120 volt uh, mains power going through those two contacts. So that is my guess for why this is messing up, is that that seems to be a way of cutting corners, or that's my guess. Um, because it, you know, my understanding of electronics is that this is a situation in which you would use a transistor to uh, have a low power trigger that would then trigger a higher powered piece. So you could use a transistor for that or a relay. Um, so I don't know why they chose to do it the way they did. Like you can see, the, the cord breaks into two pieces, one goes to the magnet. The other one goes to this, um, just just goes straight there. So it's probably like a bad design, or maybe they had a good reason. I'm not an expert on this stuff. Um, and then I think that's, if I had to guess, I would guess that's why it's not working, because of that corroded stuff. And I was thinking, well, if I just flip them over, that might be enough to get them working again. But I don't know how to take out this little block that's holding them in place. So. I may not be able to fix it, but I think it was a good exercise to take it apart and not be intimidated uh, at little inventions like this, not being afraid of taking stuff apart. So that's that. All right, so now I have put everything back in this box, and I'm going to see if it works. Um, I broke it a little bit when I was taking it apart, so, so on this end you can see this little plastic piece locking it in place. On the other end, there should be another one, but it broke. Uh, it's right down here somewhere. Well, I don't see it, but basically I'm just going to secure it with tape instead of that. The main question is whether this is going to work now. And actually, let me show you how it... So that is the uh, way that it works. Okay, so now I've got it back in the case. And now I'm going to see if when I plug it in, it works. Alright, so I put the bottom on the case. I plugged it into the wall, it's the top one there, and now, when I touch this, it works, and you can see the spark. So it wasn't doing anything before, and I think the reason was that those contacts were corroded. So that's another little victory for me. And now, hopefully, you'll see that when I putt, it comes back. No, but not like that. Nope. Okay. There we go. So it's working.